Hi, welcome to Free Spirit, and welcome to a real special preview of a new deck that is not even quite out yet. So this was actually sent to me to do a review, and I'll put down in the description box like I do all my other videos of where you can purchase this deck. Um, it's going to be available soon. You can pre-order it. But um, this just arrived, and it was sent to me to review on the channel, so it's like a sneak peek preview of this new deck. And first of all, I just have to say this is going to be my first impressions because I literally just got it. All I did was take the wrapping off and right away I was impressed with the size of this. I was expecting uh, this size tarot deck with a booklet. So this is a huge um, card deck and book. Uh, so this is called the Nature Spirit Tarot from Jean Marie Herzel, and it's illustrated and written from her. So this is her baby. I actually read online before I received the deck that it took about nine years to create this. This is all her watercolors, and then it was a lot of years of research. Um, every animal, every everything in nature that is represented here, she researched what would give greater meaning to the card. So I feel that that's probably what's included in this guidebook. Um, but it literally feels like it's including a paperback. Um, so the nature spirit, I love nature spirit, um, as most of you know, um, from the decks that I have. And here we have in the back, it's this huge book here. Um, and it's literally saying it's weaving the wisdom of the tarot with the vastness and mystery of the na nature world. Artist Jean Marie Herzel offers the 78 card full color tarot deck, hand painted watercolors. And it's all with plants, birds, insects, reptiles, um, all symbolic. And so that's what I was touching on. So this is, a, this has been years in the making. So you slide it open. I was really impressed with the packaging. I mean, I really was expecting a small deck. Um, here, you're going to have a guidebook, and it is thick. And I would say, I mean, look at how long this is. Let me see. Oh, it's a card in here. 182 pages, with, uh, and then about the author. But in here, it's going to be colored pictures. Look at how pretty. Eight of Cups. And so it will give a description of what the Eight of Cups is in the regular tarot, and then it's uh, so here there was a salmon salmon was in there salmon and you will give the symbolism of it and the sweet pea so there's a lot of every image that's in here it's the symbolism of what's being shown two of cups so we'll give the description and then it will say the tree frog it's going to give you um the symbolism behind what in nature was put on the card. I love the blue sky on these cup cards. Let's get into the cards, but I just wanted to show you the depth of this. So it's not only creative with our watercolors, but then everything, it's been highly researched that everything that's in here um, has greater symbolism in reference to that card. Um, so the amount of research that went into this, um, I literally saw it took about nine years to do that, and then all her watercolor paintings to actually do it. Um, so let's get into the cards. Okay, so you're gonna get this beautiful packaging. It's gonna be split up like this. I took off just the plastic. So here we have this. Let me do this, oopsie. And we'll go through every card and I'll show you. I love the backs of the cards already. They're very pretty. Um, so these are all watercolors. So let's go, let's move this. And these are the backs of the cards. First of all, you know I love the butterflies on here and I love the um, sky in the middle and it looks like trees in here. I love this backs of the cards. So these are all watercolors. So keep that in mind um, when we look at all the cards. But we have the Fool. This is really beautiful. And so every element in here in the guidebook is going to have greater symbolism lending to the full card. So we have the magician, the high priestess, the owl. Oh, I love that. I love the use of the, of the roses here like that the High Priestess. You know how you always have your favorite cards that you really look at for uh, tarot decks? That High Priestess is definitely one of mine. The Empress. And so every animal, every element, it's gonna go into depth in that book that it lends more to the card. So you could learn a lot, um, especially if it took that long to research the Emperor. 
very interesting, the Hierophant. Especially if you're into nature, um, this could be, I would find this so interesting to just sit with the book. I would almost read the book cover to cover to, to, um, to understand this. The Lovers, the Chariot, Yin and Yang and the Alligators, the Strength card, the Hermit, Wheel of Fortune. Oh, I love the flowers. Oh, and the web. Wheel of Fortune. So interesting. Um, Justice. We have the Hangman. We have Death. We have Temperance. We have the devil, we have the tower, the star, oh, I love the star, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. We have the moon, the sun, judgment, the world. Oh, I love the world. Oh, I love that world. I love that with the trees. Ace of Cups. I love the sky. Two of Cups. Three of Cups. Four of Cups. Five of Cups. Oh, it's like you have that expression, you get it right away. Six of Cups. Oopsie. Seven of Cups. Yeah. It's so cute how it's depicted. Seven of Cups. Eight of Cups. Nine of Cups. Aww. Nine of Cups. You can almost feel the Nine of Cups. I love the Ten of Cups, that is beautiful. I love that card, Ten of Cups, that's beautiful. Page of Cups, it's so cute how you can feel the Page of Cups in it with these elements. And it would be so interesting to see what's in the guidebook of the use of this animal, the use of this flowers, like that's what the book will provide. Knight of Cups, so funny, you could feel their expression. Queen of Cups, King of Cups. Then we have the Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands, Two of Wands, yeah. Three of Wands, oh my gosh, you could really get the Three of Wands. Four of Wands, how beautiful. Five of Wands, yeah. Six of Wands, oh yeah, the wreath. It's so interesting how it, it you immediately get the card. Um, yeah, look at this. Seven of Wands. Eight of Wands. How beautiful. Nine of Wands. Ten of Wands. <laughs> and then we have the Page of Wands. So cute. Knight of Wands. Queen of Wands, King of Wands, ah, Ace of Swords, Two of Swords, Three of Swords, Four of Swords, yep, Five of Swords, Six of Swords, Seven of Swords. Yep. I was wondering, I was just thinking of the seven, how it would be represented. Eight of Swords. Nine of Swords. Ten of Swords. Oh, wow. Yep. Page of Swords. Queen of Swords. Oopsie. 
Oh, what did I say? Knight of Swords. <laughs> Queen of Swords. King of Swords. Now, oh, how beautiful. Ace of Pentacles. I love the green back. Two of Pentacles. Oh. Three of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. Look at the stained glass. Six of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. Yep, you got that going up. Nine of Pentacles. How beautiful with the butterfly. Ten of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. And what am I doing? Knight of Pentacles. I'm always skipping the knights. Knight of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. And the King of Pentacles. It's so precious. I love how it's represented. You kind of get the expression of the animals on the cards to me. Um, that's what I felt. And it was precious how it's represented in here. But beyond that, it's going to go deeper than that because then you dive into the guidebook. Let's pull a card, you know, and I'll give you a sample. Let's just, you know what? Let me shuffle the cards. I love the backs of the cards. I want to pull a card and I'll read from the guidebook so you understand. Let's just get it. What is one card that wants to be shown right now? I'm just gonna give you a taste of what you, additional message and meaning you'll get from the guidebook, uh, from the actual book, because that is going into real depth on the card. And I just wanna show you how it goes you know, much deeper. So let's just have this deck get used to my energy. What I'm shuffling for, I just wanna tell the deck, pull the card where it's a great example of the, of the meaning that she's going to put in the book. The I want to give the full description of the card in the book and show how the elements in the card are were highly researched and have deeper meaning for that card. Okay, so let's see. I will shuffle the cards, see what falls out of the deck that wants to be shown at this time, tapping into our energy that we can dive in deeper with. Just a one card. Oh, wow, they're flipping around. Okay, that really wanted to be seen. Oh, the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups. Well, probably because of the times we're in, right? We're suffering a lot of loss, disappointment. Let's see what the Five of Cups has to say and diving in deep to the Five of Cups. Okay, so when you go into the guidebook, it says, here we have a character that's dwelling on things that have not worked out well in the past. If we have drawn the Five of Cups, we are being asked to explore unconscious emotions surrounding our situation. We may be dwelling in self-pity, not realizing that there are two cups filled with new possibilities. What a card for this time that we're going through right now. Sometimes old cups must be empty to make room for new experiences in life. The message clearly encourages us not to wallow in what has passed, but rather to recognize the powerful negative emotions that are preventing us from opening to new joys, opening ourselves to new inspiration through self-reflection. We may discover the path to our own liberation. So let's get into what they're saying. Brant's Cormorant. I think I'm pronouncing it right, but there are as many as 40 species of the seabirds known as Cormorants. So that's what we're looking at in the picture. And the Brant's Cormorant is a coastal bird of Western North America. All species are fish eaters and they dive deeply in search of their catch. So similar, like we're diving deep into our emotions. This bird represented here is diving deeply in uh, for their catch. Scientists have tracked them to depths of 150 feet. They can be seen in groups, sunning themselves, wings outspread in a most peculiar way, and this distinctive posture makes them easy to identify in their natural habitat along coastal lines and inland waters. So they often swim with their bodies submerged to the neck, and we, like this bird, submerged in our emotions right up to our neck, are we? submerged up to our neck and emotions. Perhaps what we have lost 
has made room for something new and fresh to come into our lives. Diving deeply, the bird is a symbol of bringing up unconscious wisdom through introspection and self-examination. By focusing our attention in a new direction, we clear the way for new horizons to open. And this bird appears before us, encouraging us to release self-doubt, disappointment, wasted energy, and any other negativity to which we cling and limit ourselves. This is such a card for right now, and it's right in line with all the spirit readings and spirit messages I've been posting to the channel. Now we get to the moon seed, which is the plant that's represented here in white. And it says, this plant gets its name from the seed inside each berry, which is shaped like a crescent moon. It's from the Greek and it means moon seed. This is menispermum, menispermum. And it's Greek and it means moon seed. Moon seed is found growing along stream banks and in moist woods throughout Eastern North America. And the climbing vine can grow to as high as 12 feet high and produces greenish yellow flowers that develop into deadly berries. And the poisonous blackberries are often mistaken for wild grapes. And many accidental deaths have occurred. And perhaps this is why this plant has symbol symbolic meanings of sadness and sorrow. And in the Five of Cups, the moon seed even has dead leaves draping from the spilled cups. And this emphasizes the message of this card, which is to stop lingering in this position, emotionally or psychologically. It is time to recognize the fact that what we have lost was not serving us as well. And this is a recurring message. Then we have the chives, and the chives is the smallest member of the Allium genus, which also includes onions, garlic, leeks. It's a perennial with long, hollow, tubular stems and beautiful pink flowers. So that is this right here. It's a symbol of good fortune and prosperity. Perched in one of the two cups still standing, it represents new possibilities, and that's what we're going through. Corn flower, also known as bachelor buttons. This is the last one. The corn flower is a garden favorite. It is a symbol of hope and love and perched in the other cup remaining standing, the other cup that's remaining standing up. It represents the potential for positive forces to come into our lives. So this is all about letting go of what no longer serves to stop wallowing in it and look back at the hope, right? That this is actually right here is representing new possibilities. And this is all about new hope and love and the positive forces, the potential of positive things coming in after the sorrow we've all been through. So fitting for this time that we've all suffered through, right? To not wallow in it and, and look at these two cups remaining and go forth and welcome the new. So beautiful message for right now. Um, so this has been the Nature Spirit Tarot. Again, this is the backs of the cards. It's gonna come with 78 cards. And then it will come with this beautiful, huge book that I was reading from. And as you can see, it's everything in here symbolizes and gives more meaning to the actual meaning of the tarot. And I was reading through that. And it will come in this gift. It almost reminds me of a gift set. So it's a huge sliding thing with a sliding package with the book and the cards. And it will have 78 cards with the whole book. This is Jean Marie Herzel. So this is her artwork her book, her research of coming up with everything, coordinating it to the tarot. Um, this is really impressive. I mean, and, and that's why I wanted to read from here because the amount of research it was to get that flower, get that flower, get that, um, that bird and have it, you know, this is so interesting and not just creative, but so interesting. Um, I almost want to like sit with the book and just read the book um, and then work with the cards more. I mean, or together. I mean, there's just so many, I just find it very interesting, especially if you're so into nature and you're so into, um, I, I find it, I found that really interesting. And that's why I wanted to read from the guidebook. So this is a special preview of a new deck that is about to come out. Let me get her name in here and I'll put down in the description box where you can get it. Um, you can pre-order it now. And this has been the nature spirit tarot from Jean Marie Herzel. And um, this has just been the preview and a close-up review of all the cards. And I really think it's pretty 
amazing. It's so in depth. I'm just, a, it's really impressive to me the amount of obvious work that went into went into this deck. And she also did all the watercolors too. But the amount of research to find the flower, to find that, I mean that that's so imp that's impressive to me. Um, so again, this has been the close-up review and also a preview. This deck will be available everywhere. Um, and I'll put in the description box. It's Nature Spirit Tarot, 78 cards with this impressive book with all of that. And Jean Marie Herzel. These are her cards. And um, I hope you enjoy the cards. Take care. Bye-bye.